getting sacked for telling the truth, Home Secretary. Out with the old and in with an old hand. Former Prime Minister David Cameron making a surprise return to frontline politics as Foreign Secretary after a seven-year absence. I think the Prime Minister's brought him in to strengthen the team and at a time when foreign affairs are incredibly important with what's going on in Ukraine, with the conflict in the Middle East. Well, Mr Cameron left British politics in 2016 in the aftermath of the bitterly divisive Brexit referendum. He was firmly in favour of Britain remaining in the bloc while the current Prime Minister Rishi Sunak advocated for Britain to come out of the European Union. But both men are widely seen to be centrist, and it is this approach which will now be dominating in the Cabinet. But shuffling Suella Braverman out of her ministerial role and onto the back benches may present the Prime Minister with another challenge. Her hardline opinions on issues such as immigration have won her support from those on the right of the Conservative Party, potentially dividing support for Sunak. <laughs> But it was her decision to publish an article without the full clearance of Downing Street, criticising the police of being soft on rallies supporting Palestinian rights, going so far even to denounce the protests themselves as hate marches, that ended her current ministerial career. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.